Oh, this one is even more powerful, guys. Okay, this is page 39. Look at what it says about this uh, image right here. And the sons of Israel carried Jacob, their father, and their little ones and their wives in the wagons, which Pharaoh had sent to carry him. They also took their cattle and their goods, which they had gained in the land of Canaan, and came into Egypt, Jacob and all his offsprings with him. Okay, so this is when Jacob and the Israelites were coming to stay in Egypt, okay, with Joseph as the second in command of Egypt. Look at the image, guys. Look at the brown color of these people. Look at them. Not Caucasians, okay. It's time for us as a race, the Negro race, to wake up. What is up guys welcome back to the channel today i'm going to show you guys an amazing book about the negro's position guys in egypt okay these books i'm going to show you guys today are going to blow some of your minds okay before i get started i want you guys to remember that you can support this channel on patreon there is a link in the description below anything you guys donate to my channel i'm going to use it to get more books so i can review more of our hidden history okay the true history of the negroes the israelites guys that's what i'm going to be doing with any amount of money that you guys donate to my channel so please go over right now and make a donation okay so let's get started with the video okay so here we are on this book guys i hope you guys can see it on the screen it's called our living bible okay this book was published in 1962 within this book you're going to see a lot of paintings, a lot of history of the early Egyptians and also the Israelites, guys, that were recorded on the walls of Egypt, guys. This book is an amazing book to have. If you guys don't have this book, I highly recommend you get it, guys, because this book, you're going to see paintings and monuments that were drawn centuries ago, guys, okay? Many of the pictures that you will see in this book were drawn centuries before the Messiah walked on this earth guys crazy stuff you guys absolutely need to see what's in this book okay so let's get started okay so we're gonna start with this page guys we're on page 36 let me zoom right in so you guys can see it very very clearly guys powerful images that were drawn centuries before christ walked the earth guys so right here i want you guys to see what is written about this image guys look at what it says so joseph found favor in his sight and attended him and he made him overseer of his house the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in house and field. So this monument here depicts Joseph, guys, okay? One of the 12 sons of Jacob. This is while Joseph was a slave in Egypt. And we are seeing monuments that depict Joseph right here. So here he is right here in this part of the image, guys. Okay, look at Joseph. What do you notice about Joseph's, I don't know, complexion, guys? Okay, you can see he's wearing clothes that seems to be white. You can see other people here around wearing white robes as well. But look at the skin complexion of these people, guys. That is the important point. Okay, look at the dark color of their skin. These were not Caucasians, guys. These were not white people. These are Negroes. Okay, let's see when this painting was made. Okay, so look at what it says right here. This painting was from a tomb of Nakat when 15th century BC. Do you know what that means, guys? A thousand five hundred years before the Messiah walked on the earth guys that is crazy and we are seeing Joseph right here this is him right here in this part depicted as a what as a dark-skinned man a Negro guys okay let's see some more here we are on page 38 here guys okay and in this passage we are seeing what the arrivals of Semites in Egypt okay so these Semites you are seeing here most likely this is when Jacob was coming to egypt guys okay after the famine had begun the seven years of famine had begun and then joseph's brothers came to buy some grain and then after the test that joseph uh, made for his brothers he invited the rest of his family to come and stay with him in egypt guys and right here we can see the arrival of what semites i want you to look at this image guys i want you to see how the semites are depicted brown skinned people guys not caucasians you can see from their robes they are multiple colors we have some white some orange some blue some other things but we have the skin color of these people as what brown people okay the color of the negro race very important stuff okay we have to know these things about um the israelites guys okay so let's see another one. Oh, this one is even more powerful guys okay this is page 39 
look at what it says about this uh, image right here and the sons of israel carried jacob their father and their little ones and their wives in the wagons which pharaoh had sent to carry him they also took their cattle and their goods which they had gained in the land of Canaan and came into Egypt, Jacob and all his offsprings with him. Okay, so this is when Jacob and the Israelites were coming to stay in Egypt, okay, with Joseph as the second in command of Egypt. Look at the image, guys. Look at the brown color of these people. Look at them. Not Caucasians, okay. It's time for us as a race, the Negro race to wake up, okay. It's time for us to wake up, guys. Look at these brown colored people. This one here even looks darker. Look at this, guys. Okay. And you can see them with their afros. These are not Caucasians, guys. Okay. Let's see some more. Let's see more. So, right now we are on page 43. I want you guys to look at this image right here. This is a powerful one, too. What is happening in this image? And made their lives bitter with hard service in mortar and brick. Guys. We are looking at the Israelites right here. This is when they were enslaved in Egypt. Okay, and you can see from the color of their skins. These are not Caucasians. These are brown colored people. There are some light skinned ones up here. You can see some, but I want to tell you guys one thing. Most likely, this lighter skinned version of Israelites you're seeing right here. As you can see from this one right here. If you look at this one, you can see that his knee is brown, right? But look at his feet. For some reason, his feet seems to be lighter colored. You need to know that the Caucasians are going into this monument, guys, and lightening the color of the characters on the walls of Egypt, okay? This is something that they are doing, okay? And you can clearly see evidence of it when you actually zoom into some of these images. Look at how brown these ones are. And they look fully brown, right? But then all of a sudden, you have this guy right here. His torso is brown, his arms are brown, but then his feet is light. What's going on here? They are lightening these characters, okay, so that the Negro will not be able to connect with their heritage. You have to see these things, okay? Look at the ones down here. They are fully brown people. But when you look at these other ones right here, you are seeing lighter colored ones. Look at this guy's feet. They are lightening his feet, guys, okay? Look at this one here that is clearly very brown. This is a Negro, full, full on Negro here. Look at his feet, guys. Look at this. They are lightening his feet, okay? They are going back to do some whitewashing of history. This is something that Caucasians do, guys, okay? They will never come out and say it, but this is what they do. Let's see when this history was painted on the walls of Egypt, okay? So look at what it says. This painting was from the tomb of Rachmir when 15th century BC, 1,500 years before the Messiah walked this earth, guys. That is amazing, amazing stuff, guys, okay? This is crazy. It's very important that we recognize that our enemies don't want the Negro to make the connection that they are the Israelites. They don't want that stuff. That's the last thing they want, guys. That's why they have to go back into history and do all this stuff, guys. Okay? Make sure the Negro does not connect with their true heritage. Oh.